What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we do have top snipe filters in NBA 2K20 right now. So guys, this is going to make you a lot of MT. Before we get into the video, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub. That would be greatly appreciated, man. Honestly, we need the subs. We're on the road to 11.5K. Once we do hit that goal, man, we're doing a huge MT giveaway. So please... Smash the sub button, like the video. You will not regret it, I promise. Please. And um, yeah, 120 likes in the video. We got top snipe filters. We're also selling MT on Xbox and PS4. So if you need MT, make sure to hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. And uh, yeah, today they did drop the new moments of the week cards. Or uh, I should say player of the month cards. And it is, uh, what's it called? Jerry Lucas. Who is the other one? And Rudy Gay, which is honestly kind of cool. I'm still in the hunt for Glenn Rice. It's just so hard, bro. I still have a broken controller. Amazon has taken a two weeks to deliver this controller. I still have not gotten it. So yeah, waiting on them to finally go 12-0. I was 9-0 with my broken remote. Lost by two to a Glenn Rice sweat. It makes sense. But yeah, let's head into top night filters, man. I got a lot of them. I'm going to go over the more budget ones first. All as I know is that the diamond snipe filter has been straight cash, man. There's been so many snipes in the diamond filter. It's so easy to snipe, man. It's pretty much every time you refresh, you're going to get a snipe. It's just you have to know pricing, man. Like Danny Manning isn't a snipe. Lonnie Walker isn't a snipe. Um, Doug McDermott's is not a snipe. So you have to kind of know your pricing. Some diamonds do go for 3 to like 10 to 15K. So you could possibly get a ton of snipes. Honestly, I'm going to snag that one for 1700 but yeah, man, there's a lot going on. 1800 for KD. I sniped out a KD yesterday for 1000 This snipe filter right here, man, is going to be deadly. You're going to make a lot of MT quick and fast. So you know what? Let's get into the next snipe filter. This one, you might need to enable a couple players to make it really work. It's just the ping dime filter. I recommend you buy Rod Strickland to enable him out because he's very expensive and I can't stand how he's in the way. But yeah, I enabled my uh, Jared Dudley. I enabled a couple cards. So not... 9500 for Jay Williams really isn't a bad price. I actually might scoop that. But yeah, there's a lot of pink diamonds that go for like 80k, 70k, 50k. So if you guys do know, man, I would definitely recommend you guys try out this filter. You got to stay away from Jay Williams, Rod Strickland, and Jim Paxton, and uh, Jared Dudley, but I did enable him out. But yeah, man, this filter is good. And also, if you guys invest in Rod Strickland for around uh, 7k, he's up to around 10k. So you could have made... About 2,000 profit after the reduction. So he was a good investment indeed. Pretty much every card in the game is a pretty good investment. So that's a W right there. This snipe filter is a huge W. Let's get into the next snipe filter. This isn't a really a snipe filter. I'm going to just show you a way to make MT in general. Oh, uh, man. Go through moments of the week, man. And just go through cards and try to find snipes. Because, yo, some of these cards are stupid amounts of MT. And you can make a lot of MT if you get them for cheap. So... Just saying, man, just slide through these collections. You can make thousands of MT if you honestly get some snipes. So, like, these have value. So, if you get, like, Yoke or um, Nikola Yuchevich for, like, 1K. Look at this. Dude, Clint Capella's up to 70K, man. He was up to 30. He was around 30 this whole week. He's up to 70K. So, as you guys can see, there is definitely a lot of snipes to go by. Their prices are high. They're going to be good profit margins. So, if you do find some Amethyst, Diamonds, and Pink Diamond um cards man you could get really good pricing for them you can make a lot of mt nicole Jokic is rare so i would definitely once in a while go through these moments of the week cards see if there's anything popping up see if there's any good snipes man this josh richardson card was like 10k not too long ago now he's at the 20k it's just the rarity so high so if you want to make mt and stuff this is pretty good as well um but yeah let's get into the next night filter man it's the heat check filter why do i like the heat check filter bro because they are not in packs, and they still have a ton of value. People are still trying to get AD. People are trying to get tokens. Heat check value, man. I'm telling you right now. Heat checks are rising again. They're not in packs. They have to drop something with heat checks sooner or later. And here it is, man. And I still don't understand why they have heat checks in the game. Because if you think about it, bro, 
they really don't have any meaning. Like, let's say Curry drops 100 points in one game, right? His heat check doesn't even go up in overall. That's why I just never understood the heat check promo. I feel like if Curry has an insane season, he should, or LeBron or Giannis, whatever, should go up a lot in overall. But really, they don't go up in overall. They're, I just don't understand the whole heat check thing, to be honest. It's really just there for collector level, I guess. But yeah, man, the heat check collector level. Heat check players, man. You're going to need to do this, I promise you. Do the heat check thing. You're going to make a lot of MT. Heat check snipe filters, pretty, pretty, pretty solid. And there we go, man. We got a quick snipe right there. 2,900 Frank Mason. He probably doesn't even go for that much more. But you know what? I got him. I'll take the W, I guess. He's going for around 5,900, 4,500. So right there, man. I just made 1K profit real quick. Right when he sells, man. Easy profit. I'm telling you, that snipe filter is the one, man. Put it up for 4K. Make a quick K profit real quick. And uh, let's see what else we got. So Galaxy Oval Snipe Filter. There's really not a lot of good snipe filters for the Galaxy Opal, but there is definitely ways to finagle it. I know Center Galaxy Opal is a pretty good one, man. This Nate Thurman card's really good, but yes, yeah, Center Galaxy Opal is about the only Galaxy Opal snipe filter there is. But then again, we do have Galaxy Opal lowest buyout, so that one's pretty good as well. You never know. People put up Galaxy Opals for 500 MT all the time, for 50k MT all the time. And if you guys want, you could enable Larry Hughes out. And you could also enable out Terry, get the diamond card, enable him out. There's a lot of cheap Galaxy Opals, man. It's kind of annoying because they're not really that usable, man. Pick diamonds. Some pick diamonds are better than like Jason Terry and stuff. But yeah, this Galaxy Opal Snipe Filter isn't that bad. I would buy out the diamond Jason Terry and then single him out. And then you could raise the maximum value. So yeah, man, this Galaxy Opal Snipe Filter, you never know. So I would definitely try it. You never know when something's going to pop up. You can make thousands of MT and you didn't even realize. So definitely try it out. I like moving up by the minimum bid usually or the maximum bid because the buyout is not 100k. So if you want, you can move by the maximum bid. That's fine too. And uh, yeah, this is another snipe filter. There's a couple other snipe filters I do want to talk about. Um, first off, man, this one is going to be really hard to snipe on. But if you do get something, you will make 100k minimum. So we're going to go over it. It's Prime Series VIP 3. Oh, wait, no, it's not that. Actually, this is not a bad one. As long as you get rid of Aladipo and Trey Young, it's not bad. Um, I heard Sean Kemp's really good, man. If someone could please confirm that, I heard he's amazing. But uh, it's Prime Series 3, I think. Prime Series 3, here it is. Okay, so yeah. Galaxy Opal, man. Luka Doncic, Lamar Odom, they're very expensive right now. Paul George is very expensive right now. You guys should definitely, definitely sell the cards, honestly. They could go up even more. But usually when they do drop the set reward, they drop, they rise a lot. So honestly, if you want to pick them up now, if you get Lamar Odom for around 250k and you get Luka Doncic for around 200k, that's a W because right when they drop that set reward, it's going to be something crazy. It's got to be something crazy. So whatever it is, man, make sure to go pick them up now. Paul George, I think, is going to drop. I don't think he's going to stay at that price, even though he is so good. He's probably one of the best small forwards in the game, so... It's completely up to you, man. I think he's very good, but I don't know. Um, let's see. We have a couple other snipe filters, I guess. Um, obviously, we have the 650 minimum bid one or minimum maximum buyout one. It's decent. Personally, I know a lot of people have seen Galaxy Ovals on here. I've never seen one. I don't really spend that time on this filter because it's not the most profit. You just kind of got to get lucky. You know what I'm saying? So eh, it's decent, I would say. It's nothing too special. But, I, I mean, it's completely up to you. Um, this Night Builder isn't bad. It's very competitive. It's just, like, annoying when you got to get bronzes. Like, when bronzes pop up, it's really not that fun. But, honestly, if I were you guys, would I sell your cards right now? Um, it's not a bad time to sell. The game's going to continue to crash. So, it's completely up to you. I would sell if I were you. I think it's a pretty good time to sell cards. So... I don't know. It's up to you. I see prices continue to drop, continue to drop as we get closer and closer to endgame. But yeah, I really just hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more content, man. If you guys didn't know, I did pull up all George. That was crazy. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more content, guys. Have a good one. Peace.